Hey guys, Andrew Ward here. Um, this is a review of the Fat Boy. This is the Traverse 3. So it's a three section. The one, my very first video was a two section. So we're actually going to do a quick comparison, but this is an unboxing. So here we go. So, there it is, guys. Right. This is pretty much uh, the same width legs. This is 42 points, 42.7 millimeters. But the thing is, this is a little shorter. So, for me, it works because. I'm short so this would be working very well for me so let me just show you real quick so there you go you got the fat boy in here uh, the logo you got the logo here too you have the screw on thread protector with a bowl there is a platform release here and then on this side is a locking lever so the plate stays on, unlock it, and then push the button at the same time, comes right off. Just like the other one. Like I said, the main difference on this one is it's shorter. I will show you the height difference between the two, but I just want to show you this one. Um, they'll be used for different things, but essentially from here, this is the most collapsible version. For me, I could do pretty much a low kneeling to a sitting position. So the seated position, it I know this is right here. The other one I actually have to bring the legs out and actually widen the stance, which is fine. The only problem is sometimes you won't have that much room when you widen the stance. So this is... I'm just showing it on this. This is a little stiff, but it's all good. So I would actually have to widen the stance this way, but now this one is more of like a kind of a crouch position for me. So it kind of just bent over a little bit in and on the rifle from a really low seated position, but I would have to spread the legs this wide on the longer one, which I will show you in just a second. But even this one, um, at the midway width is actually pretty good. It's nice and stable. It's just as strong as the other one. And it is just awesome. You have a level here to tell you, you know, that you're level on this one. I'm actually gonna put a, I'm gonna give the, um, joystick a try. Uh, as well, I already have the ball head, which I did review. I'm going to put the joystick head on this and review that as well. So another cool feature of this tripod is the feet here. Bring this out just a little bit. See how there's a gap here? It's like this now. Unscrewing it. There's a spike here already built in. So when you put it into the muddy ground or something that... You could plant better out in the field or out in the uh, range. Just unscrew it. It's covered, not sharp. I'm gonna reveal it. And it's locked on pretty tight. All right, so the only catch to that is you just have to bring out the leg just a little bit because you won't be able to screw it down that much when the leg is all the way in. All right. So here it is. There you go. As you can see, this one sits really tall, um, even for me. At this point, there's no way I could do this 
even from the high kneeling. So that's why I had to spread these just to get it out to a seated position. Yes, I can make these legs a little less stiff, but I actually like that. So for me, now it sits just a little lower than this, but this for me, it's just a wide stance. You can see that stance, it's really wide. So it's nice and stable, but it is a wide stance. I would still use this tripod for shooting because I've already kind of trained on this one. So I know where the standing is, but in terms of sitting and kneeling, this one will definitely be better. So I'm gonna fully extend these and we're gonna see how they look like fully extended. All right, as you can see, they are the exactly the same height, but you can see that there's just more sections on the one. Um, they have the exact same stance. Um, I would say they're pretty much equal in stance in terms of width. It's just that the other one has more sections. So it actually, at its lowest point, will sink a little lower, but at its highest point, there is no difference. So height-wise, guys, you're you're not giving up on Ida. It's just for me, I'm short, so this is the three-section one, the Traverse Three. I will be using this more often. I'll start training on this one more uh, because I can do a seated kneeling from the fully collapsed leg position. But uh, I'm happy. I'm super happy with this because. Even this one was really stable shooting from just on the range. Uh, hopefully the next match I go to will allow me to shoot off a tripod. So the next review will actually be the joystick head uh, once I get that in and I'm gonna install it in here and we're gonna see how it holds up compared to um, the ball head. And I, I have a Leo Photo joystick head for this one and depending on which one I actually use for PRS shooting, I most likely will just swap heads, but both of these will go. One will actually be for um, sighting equipment, and then the other one will be for the rifle. All right, uh, if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments. Um, and if you have any opinions or you use uh, the Fat Boy or you have a different tripod you want to compare against it, let me know. Otherwise, like and subscribe, guys, helps. Um, I'm gonna be trying to put out as much content as I can because um, there's not a lot of reviews on the Fat Boys or like, um, you know, the two vets head. So I'm actually gonna try doing reviews on equipment that I don't see a lot on YouTube. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Again, guys, like and subscribe. Thank you very much. God bless.